PS2. We're starting it off simple here, but I'm interested to see what uh, what kind of goes here. I'm kind of curious though, because even Rhea had been picking up Sephiroth uh, for some methods, so uh, and Roy. So oh really? Or am I? No, definitely, no, it's definitely Sephiroth, but Roy might have been somebody else actually thinking about it. So, so but. the Sonic pick makes sense here because you want someone with the speed and the maneuverability to fight Greninja. Greninja is surprisingly fast, not to mention the low profile, means that it's going to be hard for Sephiroth to find a forward air or a back air. Let me yeah. tell you, personally speaking, it's a nightmare. That's where I was going to go with this. <laughs> you really want a character that hits the ground, and there's a move that hits the ground. Absolutely, you're you on it. the ground. Found it. You're an active hitbox co cruising across PS2, so Sephiroth cannot do that. Yeah. At best, you get sliding F tilt, uh, and that's not enough to, to cut it. Absolutely. So, Ken already with the Cavs move, starting smart here. All right, and almost just, you know, yeeting himself off the stage at 0%. But we're chilling. Exactly. We're Sonic. Goofy actually managed to find himself on the board 30 seconds in with a single hit. Not an amazing <laughs> start, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and so I feel like a lot of what Greninja likes doing is locking opponents down in shield, kind of like what we were talking when we were talking about uh, Slashy and Sonics. When is Sonic? When is Sonic? When is Sonic going to be in shield? He's going to be running away. He's going to yeah. be over there. He's going to be spin dashing. And, and Sonic makes best use of the philosophy of the best defensive options: movement. Mm -hmm. It's not always shield; it's movement. Being away from those hitboxes can be more important than sitting in shield. Yep, totally. And there is though Back shield throw. punish on the dash attack. Goofy usually is really good about hitting the cross up on the dash attack. What a weird! That was an amazing like, spin dash in and then there, mm -hmm. sending Goofy all the way up, but still living though. Yeah, all of this actually, by the way, started off of a dash attack that didn't cross up. That is one of the biggest things to watch with Greninja. And especially for Sonic, who doesn't have, like, fantastic options for covering the cross up in shield. Oh? You seeing some aggression here? Uh huh. Nah, okay. Yep. We, you mentioned the I died to that. Yeah. <laughs> I would get I got the contact. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's on, it's on VG Boot Camp. You can see it. <laughs> the VODs are pressed. Don't worry. I mean, we'll see if uh, Ked could turn into that VOD as well, but it's looking difficult right now for Goofy. It's great conditioning even if you don't hit it, though, in the first yeah. place, because then it's like, oh, I always have to act immediately off of these aerial hits off stage, and Greninja can mess you up for that, too. Exactly. A great vertical leap from Greninja as well. you got to keep that yep. in mind. That frog knows how to jump. Oh, got some good pressure there. And now you're in that setup range for Greninja. You can see him waiting there, crouching, trying to find his avenue. Because if he gets a down tilt, it'll be the stock like that. Goofy is getting counter hit quite a bit. We're hearing like the Greninja sound effects coming in a lot. Uh, uh, even seeing some hitbox animations that just not getting time to come out. Ken is doing a great job of stopping him. Not going to the forward air follow up, but not actually following him off either. He's running up, just shielding point blank, trying to see what Ken's going to do. Yeah, I mean, th and there's just no pressure on these landing aerials right now. Oh, I love that shadow sneak. What a great call out. Yep. Or actually, just the back hit, but. Yeah. Hey, we'll take it, though. Yeah. Goofy on the board. Yeah. Ken is all over that. His aerial coverage is so good. And uh, I think uh, you, you see this with both characters. He has such an incredible understanding of how to trap a uh, neutral air dodge in particular. Mm -hmm. Full stuck up for Ken. Now he definitely has a lot of avenue to just play with it. Yeah, I don't never have to approach. I can play as fast or as slow as I want to. I have plenty of time on the clock. This is just pretty firmly Ken's game right now. And Goofy piecing it together, though. Yep. And the patience from Ken, he's not going to pick an like, overly aggressive option off those backers. That's how Goofy like gets a lot of his stocks. And it, it, this spin dash game is so difficult. Goofy doesn't know how to deal with it. And it's, it's the nuance of the character. It's, that's... The, one of the main pivotal points of the matchup is how do you deal with Sonic spinning around on the stage? And so far, Goofy doesn't quite know. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like Shuriken is a great option here either. Yeah, yeah the Nair the is absolutely going to do it. Ken, very dominant here in this game one. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I think he just understands how to play this kind of archetype super well. Exactly. And matchup experience definitely matters here. So we'll see what Goofy Gooper decides to do. We run in the back, we go into the counter pick. What are you feeling here? We're going to Smashville. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's that, that seems fine. Um, I feel like the big thing that has to change for Goofy though is like you have to change the way that you see the utility of your landing aerials here because I don't know, the the space cover just isn't there when you can just zoom into it with spin dash, right? So probably more movement, less hitboxes, but I don't know. It, like, Ken is just so strong. Yeah, and it's hard to talk about movement when your opponent's Sonic. Yeah. Like, that's also movement, but better. He's movement, too. And so it's, like, hard yeah. to answer back. And it's particularly hard when Ken can get a lead like this and put the onus of approach on you. 
try to find a, just some simple percentage, simple follow-up. We'll see really what he gets, though. Yeah, you also have to, like... I feel like it's important to, to, to present some alternative options in disadvantage, or in advantage against players who are this good. You've got to make them think. Exactly. Like, what is this guy thinking? You know, kind of, kind of stuff. Just getting in that head, trying to find the mental aspect is so important, too. And even you, you see, again, you shoot these aerials, they're kind of conflicting right there, mm -hmm. trying to find something. The backers from Greninja aren't enough to really get in there against, uh, against Ken Sonic. Okay, jab, shield, back air, yeah, okay. You're off stage. It feels like Goofy spent most of this game off stage again. It's just hard to find, even like, yeah, trying to land with Aaron, just getting punished. I uh, attempted to call out from Ken, not quite finding it, giving Goofy a chance to even get a hit on board, but. Every hit feels like it's so few and far between for yep. Goofy. Just finding, unable to find any purchase on this character. Yeah, and I, I like the attempt at like trying to catch a roll with Ford Smash or something like that. You're gonna have to hit movement, right? Throwing out arrows here and there, trying to find something, anything to get himself moving here. And just calling out the Water Shuriken point blank with the forward air. I like it from Ken. Yep, great. You just run up to the ledge, react to option, go out and hit him. It's a very fast forward air from Sonic. Simple follow-up, some percentage on board. About to lap Goofy Goober in percentage, and there it is. Yeah, and I mean, Ken, there's there's nothing for Ken to be afraid of when that Nair hits the back of the shield. Like, <laughs> just simple to, I like that, go. actually. Really good. Ken's shield patience actually being a, a deficit there for him. Yep. But when it takes that many layers to finally yeah. break through, it's a problem. It takes you a game and a half, and you're already down that much. You get a grab and nothing off of it. Okay, there we go. That, that's the big opening that Goofy needed. It's percentage, but where is it going to be next? Are we going to see the stock to follow it up? Yeah, Ken's evasion, just too good. I like that, though. Yeah, down great. tilt, forward air. You can hear the crowd popping off because Southern Maryland is here to support their boy. And now you got to do it all over again. His 10 isn't even making the early percent uh, yeah. tough, easy. Not quite killing though all the way across the stage. Thankfully, Goofy Goober has a second lease on life, but Ken always happy to just find his hits as they come, not forcing anything too badly, which is huge. Okay. This is the situation that Goofy loves to play in, but yeah, Ken is, Ken is aware. Yeah, Ken's perfect to it all for him. Like, he already knows. So you need to start finding a little bit of nuance there. A good tech, actually. Just casually, easy tech. All right, yeah, the spot dodge after the landing there. Gonna at least give Goofy something off of that uh, shield pressure. Yeah, there's a forward tilt. Now, last stock for Goofy Goober. About halfway through this game so far. And Ken's sitting pretty. I mean, sure, he's, you know, mid percentage right now, but he hasn't, it doesn't look like this entire game and entire set really, he hasn't really seemed too threatened by what Goofy Goober's bringing to the table. No, and like, Ninja is so good against panicky players. Exactly. Ninja's so good when you. When you're when you're scared, you're trying to roll away. You get caught by the dash. Like you're trying to spot dodge, you get caught by a down. So you can you just die to these moves, right? And Ken is like, no, I actually recognize what's threatening, and I'm not yes. gonna budge when it's not. He gives respect, and his discipline is just out of this world in terms of his defenses. Yep. He, he also does a really good job with his attacks, like uh, ledge pressure kind of stuff, where it's like, yeah, if he misses, he's not in a position to get hit. I like that air dodge from Ken, just avoiding everything entirely, simply just coming back, no biggie. Okay, there's the cross-up. It matters so much, but not able to get any sort of follow-up off of it. Four landing aerials being punished on Goofy right now. Not even getting the pivot wow. grab there, that's huge. A little surprising. The grab's yeah, that's uh, actually grab's crazy. Insane. <laughs> that grab is uh, magic. It's more yeah. melee grab. F-tilt, will it kill? Yes, indeed it will. Yeah, super good coverage on the, the panic air dodge down. Yep. And even if he jumps the F-tilt, that's a very quick option. Sonic. Ken will be ready for you after that. So 2-0 right now. Ken, pretty confident, pretty firm. It doesn't seem like anything's too crazy. Uh, Goofy Goober, you see the, the aspects. You see actually when he can finally find those hits. And it's working, but this ironclad defense and the, the stubbornness of Ken to ever give a single opening is just it's it's so good. hard. Because I feel like when I watch a lot of players play, even even up to high level, but like this is especially a mid-level thing, it's like you can see there is a place where play style changes when you get to whatever in your head is kill percent, right? And then you start playing safe, yeah. right? That is not at all Ken's philosophy here. Yeah. And which is important, I think, because uh, Greninja's advantage take can be crazy even when he hits you with 20. So, yeah, it's absolutely the right approach for this match, and I think it's... You know, great approach generally. Yeah, having the mentality to always play like it's the last stock, 
goes a long way for your stocks, for your gameplay overall. And Ken's got the discipline. Ken's got the skill. Yeah, yeah, he values every hit. And like, in a game where we've seen comebacks from insanely losing positions, I think that's how you have to play it. Exactly. Like, I, I can't tell you how many times I come away from my turn and be like, why didn't I just stop? Yeah, why didn't I just <laughs> keep that fine, just refinal, then just reel yeah. it back and keep myself safe? And again, barely touched on his stock. Ken already up less than a minute in. Methodical, clinical, other adjectives. It's true. <laughs> My man's studious. True. Academic. He's an erudite of the field of Smash. Yeah, nobody was the babies. Yeah, great. The dash attack coming through. The stubbiness of Greninja's back hair has been a huge problem this whole set. Like, I usually think that moves really, really good, but it's it's been getting stuffed out by moves that I don't think is particularly huge, like Sonic Dash Attack. Yeah, Again? yeah, back hair's not hitting. And that's such a, a key piece of the puzzle for Goofy Goober's game plan. It's, it's tough if you actually can't find that hit. Ken still avoiding follow-ups. I mean, he's getting uh, you know, hit, but I mean, tit for tat, it's everything's coming up Ken. Yep, and Spring is such an easy answer to those like aerial chases. It's a lot of a lot of characters are much more threatened by Greninja's advantage state, right? I think being a fast faller makes you more threatened. I think not being able to act out of your upbeat makes you more threatened. It's like a number of things. In the corner, yeah, that's a jump from ledge. Goodbye, Goofy Goober. You got one more stock on winner side potentially. How are you going to play it? It's so tough here because now you really feel like you have to sell out any time you get a hit. But Ken has been so smart about, you know, he's not going to fall for the shadow scene nonsense. Yes. Anything you think, finally finding a forward area. It's a stray hit more than anything else. And how many stray hits does it take to take two clean stocks off of Ken Sonic? A lot more than Goofy Goober's been getting. Yeah, Goofy has had to work so hard for every little bit. And that's just the sign of you're fighting a top player because you have to fight tooth and nail just to even get even a simple interaction. And being so stubborn and so unwilling to even give a single inch is what's making Ken so dominant in this set. Uh, and one of the things that's wild about this is like thinking about the APM of this set, like Goofy has been also having to work way harder in that respect. Like it's exhausting doing this. Exactly. Back throw is not going to kill, I don't think. That's a lot of pummels, Ken. Relax. <laughs> He's already dead. Yeah, right. Forward tilt. Yeah, forward air would have done it. Getting actually hit oh, by that, oh. that's kind of big. The way that that lingering air just keeps the advantage state going for Sonic, that's not a move that I truly uh, appreciated until I went back into the analysis on Sonic's CEO run. Back throw will do it, absolutely. There it is, Ken 3-0. Pretty dominant against Goofy Goober, but props to Goofy to getting here in the first place, really. Made some amazing upsets to make top 32 winner side, guaranteed minimum 17th. So even though that wasn't the best showing for Southern Maryland's Goofy Goob, it's okay, so respected. I can't blame him, dude. It's like, Ken! You see that? I don't know how you're breaking through that. If you're upset, like, you think you could do any better? Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I know I can't. Uh, yeah, like the backer pretty much entirely useless, like that entire set, which is just a testament to Ken's defense. Yeah, yeah. being able to use some of the key tools that you have at your disposal and just having your game plan thrown out the window immediately is terrifying because at best you have three games to really right. play around with there.